For our own world, the peril is more subtle. Since this series was first broadcast, the dangers of the increasing greenhouse effect have become much more clear. We burn fossil fuels like uh, coal and gas and petroleum, putting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and thereby heating the Earth. The hellish conditions on Venus are a reminder that this is serious business. Computer models that successfully explain the climates of other planets predict the deaths of forests, parched croplands, the flooding of coastal cities, environmental refugees, widespread disasters in the next century, unless we change our ways. What do we have to do? Four things. One, much more efficient use of fossil fuels. Uh, why not cars that get 70 miles a gallon instead of 25? Two, research and development on safe alternative energy sources, especially solar power. Three, reforestation on a grand scale. And four, helping to bring the billion poorest people on the planet to self-sufficiency, which is the key step in curbing world population growth. Every one of these steps makes sense apart from greenhouse warming. Now, no one has proposed that the trouble with Venus is that there once was uh, Venusians who drove fuel inefficient cars, but our nearest neighbor nevertheless is a stark warning on the possible fate of an Earth-like world.